What's up, YouTube? Box community. It's your boy, Mr. Universal Sports. Coming from the undisclosed location in the California IA. You know how we do it. I've been away for a while. First and foremost, I've been away because I've been concentrating on school. I'm a station. I'm, I'm a school to become a stationary engineer. So, which means I gotta get my unlimited senior license. I just got my unlimited senior license. So, hooray to me. Pat on my back. Shout out to my wife. Arrow eat ninety. Love you, boo. And I'm also going to take another test now to go along with my unlimited steam license, which is my turbine endorsement. If I can work on turbines now, I can operate turbines, steam turbines. So, good luck to me. I'll take that test pretty soon. I'll let you know if I pass or fail. But I know I'll pass. I'll do all right. So, that's why I've been folks studying for these tests and stuff. Shout out to all the people on YouTube. Julian Foster, what's up? Como Blast 666. Me and him, or co workers, we got into an argument about. Who's better, boxing or boxing or MAA? Obviously, I'm a boxing fan. Boxing, I think boxing is a traditional sport. Boxing is a better sport, but I'll make a video on that pretty soon. I'm gonna make a little answer to Como Black Six Six Six. On to tonight's fights. Two good fights tonight. Very good fights. The first fight, fight obviously was Tavares Cloud versus Glenn Coffey Johnson. I'm gonna cover that a little bit later. But I'm gonna talk about this Devin Alexander versus Andre Kotelnik fight. Alexander impressed me with his last fight against Randall. He showed great hand speed. He showed great, a stiff jab. He, he displayed a good uppercut, good lateral movement. He was able to, he has one of the difficult styles, defensive styles, which is to stand in front of somebody and slip and counter. And plus he has a good corner man in Kevin Cunningham. I just got one, I one question. What did the heck happen tonight? <laughs> All of those things disappeared. It seemed like he was trying to slug with Kotonik instead of using his natural gifts, which is speed, which is his foot speed, hand speed, slightly a better punching power and lateral in defense. He, obviously, you know, great five styles made fights, and maybe Kotonik had the style to frustrate him a bit. Kotonik was Kotonik was able to neutralize his speed with the jab and straight rights and time him. He had great timing, and plus, with the, Max Kellerman said, with that tough European style. That very awkward European style, it, it, a lot of young American prospects probably never seen that before and they lost. Look what happened to Danny Jacobs against Dimitri Plog. Oh, well, I can't pronounce his last name, but you guys can probably get it for me when I, when we, when I make y'all comments. When I watched the fight at the movie theater last week during the Juan Manuel Marquez versus the Juan Diaz fight. There was a wide margin, a wider margin than I expected having. I scored the fight. I scored the fight 116, not 116. I scored the fight. I'm sorry, the judges have to fight 116, 112. I had to fight a draw personally. Six rounds for Alexander, six rounds for Katontnik. Obviously, I don't know if they get, I don't know, maybe y'all can disagree with me. I saw it. Maybe I, Alexander kind of eked it out personally, even though my scorecard says 114, 114. Maybe uh, maybe the, the judges had it. Maybe because Alexander slightly had a hometown decision. But I want to see these two fight again before Alexander steps in there with the big the big two, which is Amir Khan and Timothy Brady. I had obviously I want to see Alexander versus Brady. That's the fight at 140. We all want to see. But like kind of like with Sergio Martinez and Paul Williams, I want to see the, I want to see a rematch of that fight before Alexander goes on to bigger and better things. And I also want to see a rematch between Sergio Martinez and Paul Williams. Instead of Paul Williams trying to go make 154 and sweat himself out and try to kill himself. Now enough with the Alexander and Kototnik fight. Let's talk about the Glenn Coffey Johnson versus Tavares Cloud fight. Good, good back and forth action by Tavares Cloud. He should go great heart. And Glenn, John, Glenn Coffey did a good job of pushing him and, and making the fight ugly like he always do. But... I wish that Tavares Cloud had a jab. If he had a better jab and to be able to keep Glenn Coffey back from trying to lean in and try to make the fight ugly, a la John Ruiz style, then maybe it would have been a clearer fight. Obviously, I had it to fight. I scored that fight 116-112, a wider decision. Let me, count the, let me count the rounds for you guys on YouTube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds to four, four in favor of Tavares Cloud. But I wish... I mean, obviously, I wrote down some stuff here. He takes too many punches, obviously. 
He needs to hold. I wish he had better defense because he suffered a cut, obviously, but by Glenn Coffey Johnson. But he was able to recover and win enough rounds to win the fight. And he needs more side to side movement. He needs to work on his defense a little tighter. I think at this point of the game, I still think Chad Daw bad Chad Dawson, who we're gonna see it against John pa Jean John Pascal next week, will still slightly beat him because of his of Dawson's superior boxing ability. But he showed he throws to Roy's Cloud throws a lot of hard punches. And he looks physically strong. A big, well made light heavyweight. Obviously, Glenn Coffee Johnson is an old fashioned tough guy. He keeps coming, keeps pushing forward, gets so close into that he, he you gotta find him at a telephone booth. Kind of like a poor man's Bernard Hopkins. I'm not trying to compare him to the great Bernard, the great super, the great middleweight champion, but kind of like Bernard Hopkins, fights you so up close and tight that you can't get off your punch and create space to, to get your punches off. And that's where he kind of frustrated the young fighter at times, but it was enough to get the decision against uh, young Tavares Cloud. So congratulations to him. I hope Tavares Cloud gets the winner of John Pascal and Bad Chad Dawson. Alright YouTube, YouTube Box Community, this is your boy Mr. Universal Sports and I'm out.